to all my friends. Today is uh, December 5th, 2011. I wanted to uh, point out to everyone who provides my news and information uh, a website that I think uh, you all will enjoy. Uh, I haven't seen anyone using it yet. It is actually just out of beta um, and so uh, it does state that it requires uh, Google Chrome in order to use it, but I, I do find it works just fine in Internet Explorer as well. As many of you know, I think that by far the most likely scenario for any kind of devastating impact uh, on mankind is going to be from um, a coronal mass ejection, uh, a large one. Uh, basically, that'll hit the reset switch and uh, put us all back on even ground and in that respect I'm kind of almost looking forward to it. Um, once I learned that only three percent of US currency is actually in printed money the rest is all in uh, uh, on computers. So a massive CME uh, wiping out all of our uh, electronics might be the only way to uh, to stop the uh, uh, corporate power that's uh, taking over our country and we were warned but uh, on to uh, today's uh, subject I have uh, a couple things I want to point out to my new uh, news subscribers I was a little uh, I was a little concerned with some of the reporting that uh, popped up recently I want to comment on. Um, we learned that basically around Thanksgiving everybody went on vacation and stopped putting out uh, reports and releases and in some cases put out uh, they published in their hurry to get out the door uh, old information that was wrong. Um, it was not a false flag or anything like that. In fact, uh, somebody else had picked up the story and then later said, oops, nope, 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 sorry, it was an old space.com made a mistake and that's all there was to it. Uh, same thing at the uh, the early morning hours of the 1st of December. There, there were some uh, CMEs that were earth-directed. Nobody caught it, nobody posted it. So uh, it was reported uh, as unknown, well, one of one of uh, the subscribers' comments had said, "Well, you know, I went back and looked through all the images, and sure enough, there was a CME, and I uh, did so as well." And 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 yes, this, and and yes, you can see this is pressure. This is pressure uh, pressure waves coming from the sun. So it, it's it's nothing that we could create. I mean, we would have to create a field. Uh, or or energy pulse that would be able to come out around or out in front of uh, of us and then send a blast back earth directed so now this this is clearly solar solar influence uh, something hitting us now if it maybe been coming from another direction that 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 definitely would have freaked everybody out but uh, no that's all it was it was just a simple mistake Okay, now for the good stuff. Um, like I said, I haven't seen any of you using this yet. Um, okay, here, here's what I want to show you. Um, and you'll have to uh, just check this out. It's, it's ISWA, uh, Integrated Space Weather Apps Association, whatever, uh, dot GSFC dot nasa gov and then go to uh, port 8080 um, and fill in there's the um, iswa uh, system web app okay and what you get are what they call a series of signets and they're grouped by uh, solar heliosphere magnetosphere ionosphere planetary spacecraft and in all there are uh, almost 40 of these things half of these I don't even understand what they are 
but uh, and some of them do repeat within the groupings but the uh, most important one the alert uh, is your CME uh, arrival time and this is kinda cool now it did miss the one that hit us on what the what was it the third fourth somewhere around there but um, when one, these are the predicted hits 